How's it going everybody? This is Kaz808 Hawaii coming to you from a lovely holiday season. It's been a while since I talked to you all so I figure I'd wish you happy holidays and let you check out my new lid that I got here with the sport and the antlers. Getting into festive season. I don't know if you can actually see the well I guess depending what you have got my antlers on my my bike here. Cindy's all dressed up for the holiday season and in case you're wondering the red nose is not blocking my ram air intake. I moved that up, so she needs to breathe. I made a mistake in doing that last time, and she quickly corrected me of that. Anyway, I'm not too sure how long I'm going to have my selfie cam on, because my GoPro batteries suck. But anyway, so for the time that I have, I will talk to you all as I'm facing you, since I was always taught you should face the people that you're talking to. So I can see you all there. Um, you may notice I'm rocking the red shield. This is the Bell RS1 helmet with the photochromic shield. Um, strongly, strongly recommend it. Photochromic shield, awesome. It, you don't need to swap out shields when it gets dark. It's, it's, it gets light really quickly. It's very comfortable. I got nothing bad to say about it. I bought another helmet. Well, actually, I have three Bell RS1s. Um, the first one that you saw, which is a shatter design. And then I bought the Bell emblem. And then I also bought the red one to match for my holiday stuff. So, yeah, I've got three helmets that are Bell RS1s. And I've got my Shoei. And you know what? I, didn't, I don't know if I actually did a really good review on that helmet. But... That helmet is awesome. Honestly, I think I like it better than my, my Shoei RF1100. Um, on speeds over 140, not that you should be going over 140, that's my public service announcement, but on speeds over 140, I'm not saying that I've done it, but what I'm saying is over 140, the helmet does not lift as much as the Shoei 11, RF1100 does. So. As far as wind noise, it's actually, eh, it's got a lot of good ventilation. So part of having good ventilation, you're going to get wind noise. So, you know, it is what it is. However, I do have the Cena 20. And for those of you all that have Cenas, um, I found this out. They come to these little pad spacers. Put them in. They decrease the space between your ear and the helmet. So the bass for your music and the sound is a lot better because you don't have the wind noise flying between your ear and the helmet so strongly recommend that um, let's see but as far as comf uh, the helmet is very comfortable I almost said helmet the helmet is very comfortable you got a lot of cool designs I I, I strongly recommend it I, I'm very happy with it I have three of them so I guess you can say I'm really happy with it my GoPro turned up. Let's see if I can try and get it started again without killing myself here. Let's try that again. I understand that the buttons are waterproof and all, but man, they're a pain in the ass to get started. But anyway, depending on when it got cut off, shotguns to everybody on the mainland. It's a beautiful day, getting some nice riding in. So, man, it's been so long since I talked to you all that it's like, I'm not sure what I want to say. Let's see, I... Uh, uh, GoPro's turning off again. Oh look. I'm stuck behind my favorite car in the entire world. I am stuck behind a Prius. Love it. If you drive a Prius, you know, nothing personal. But my thing is, I understand that you guys get this magical gas mileage if you go a certain speed, what have you. But why do you all have to do it in the fast lane? I mean, you want to go 47 miles an hour? Hey, more power to you. Just don't do it in the fast lane. Some of us have places to go, people to see, and don't want to be stuck behind a hybrid the whole day. So, 
I don't know. Anyway, for those of you that have never watched any of my my motor vlogs, I've got a small issue with with with, um, with Priuses. So I may rant or rave about them once or twice every 10 minutes. <laughs> but anyway, that's another one. Um, if you hear me say anyway a lot, I am sponsored by Sesame Street. Anytime I say the word anyway, I get a dollar. No, I'm kidding, but I do say anyway a lot. So for me, work has been hectic. That's why I haven't been motor vlogging too much. And also, this is not a bad thing, but I haven't been motor vlogging as much because I have been doing a lot of group rides and we have our Cena 20s and a lot of our our Cena 20s we're talking story and it's going to motor vlog is kind of funny you only hear one part of our conversation so we keep talking about maybe doing a multiple motor vlog thing but for now it's just you know <laughs> I just I just need to get a little more solo riding in just so I can spend time me and you you know what I mean 